anyway, today I am going to be making some high protein pasta using the Protein World Protein Pasta. Literally three ingredients, so that, tuna and mayo. Might sound really boring, but I just wanted to make a quick 15 minute lunch. Um, and I thought I would make it really simple, really basic, because this is basically my go-to when I need to do a food shop. <laughs> so if you're interested right now, I do need to do a food shop. So, um, I have calculated the calories and stuff for it. Let me just grab it up. Um, it's somewhere on here. Da, 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 da. Where is it? Mm, here we go. So it is 404 calories, 33 grams of carbs, 7 grams of fat, and 55 grams of protein. Do you see that? That is so good. So yeah, so 54 grams of protein, 33 grams of carbs, are 414 calories. So that's really good. What I'm going to do while I do this is um, I'm going to do a TikTok live at the same time, make it a little bit interactive. So if you see me looking this way, that's why. It's all right. We're all good. So um, let me set that up and I'll be right back with you. Going. So what I need to do first, I'm going to make two portions because your gal lives alone. She's not cooking one meal at a time. That's just not efficient. So I'm going to weigh out 150 grams of protein while pasta. minutes so I'm gonna put that on um, and while I do I'll like get the rest of it ready this is like the most basic meal ever but it's just a quick staple that I always make if I've not prepped anything and I want like a high protein meal so yeah let me pop this on so I've already boiled the water but, yeah I'm gonna put it on for 12 minutes life hack with this pasta and um, I find if I only put it on for 10 minutes it's like a bit underdone and it does say 10 to 12 but I don't know maybe it's because I've got an induction hub don't really know why it is but we'll roll with it so um yeah let me pop this in here i should probably also have added salt to the water that's something i've learned recently let's give it a little sprinkle okay lovely right so we need to leave that what is the time now it is 58 so we're gonna leave that till 10 past um so while that does i'm gonna open up the tuna and the mayo so plan of action with the tuna and mayo i'm gonna put two am i yeah i'm gonna put two tins of this because there's two portions of pasta there and then i'm gonna put two tablespoons of the mayo because again um that makes two portions worth basically for what i calculated on my fitness pal if you don't know what my fitness pal is it's this app where you um kind of like track calories and food personally i don't actually track my calories and stuff all the time because if I was trying to like lose weight or anything, I would. But I'm just trying to like maintain my calories and um, like maintain my weight. So like eat maintenance calories. So I don't actually track them. I just sort of like intuitively eat. But I would if I was trying to lose weight. So that's an interesting um, question. Is my hair natural? If you want to ask questions, guys, go ahead as well. Because I'm going to have spare time while I'm waiting for the pasta. Um, yeah, it is. It's, um, I'll say it's ginger. i say I'm a ginger. Um, but it's definitely like an interesting colour of ginger, isn't it? Some days it looks really brown, some days it looks really blonde, but it is the natural colour. Okay, <laughs> my boyfriend bought me a tin opener the other day, guys, because I had this one and it's literally the worst tin opener in the world. Like, every time I would try and open a tin, he was like, you're joking, so thanks, babe. Um, yeah, let me open this and then we'll open up the tuna. This here. Oh, my little cat's just came through the flat. Hi, Misty. You gonna come up and say hi? She's staring at me. She's like, Mum, what are you doing? Why are you talking to yourself? Oh, babe. But yeah, I've tried a few different... Um, what should I put this into? I might put it into... Um, a big tub, maybe. While I make it, and then I'll just separate it out. Like that will just be easier. A big tub. Oh, it's a nice shade of ginger brown. Thank you. Oh, my eyebrows. So I do get my eyebrows dyed. They're not natural. My eyebrows are like blonde. Um, which just, it's just not, not for me. I don't, oh, this is a good tin opener. It's the small things in life. Um, yeah, my eyebrows are like blonde. I get them dyed. I get them done like black brown um, by a lady called Faz. 
Her Instagram is the threading room. She works in Coventry. She just started a new salon. I think it's called, oh, I can't think of the name of it, but it's on, on back of it, if you know where that is in Camden. She's so good. Um, somebody said what am I making? I'm making protein tuna pasta, so it's gonna have 55 grams of protein in it. Let me go drain this. I'll be back on moment. Also, all of these ingredients, so obviously you've got the protein while pasta, and then you've got um, the tuna and the mayo, they're just from, from Aldi. And it's light mayo, life hack. I feel like light mayo tastes better. I don't know. I just feel like it does. And then obviously the calories in it are better. Um, so yeah, and I buy, oh, one minute, I haven't drained this one. Yeah, I buy the, um, I'm surprised my cat's not came in the room. She always comes in when I open them. Um, oh, thank you, babe. I am a lovely person. Um, what's it? I, yeah, I always buy the tuna in water. Um, again, life hack. We don't need to be buying tuna in oil. There is no need. I mean, I guess it depends. If you were trying to gain weight, maybe you would, but I don't know. Just an excess of calories, if you ask me. Obviously, you could do loads with this. You could put, like, I don't know, like, onions in it. You could put loads of things in it, but... This is my quick version of this meal. By no means is it like, you know, I don't know. I'm sure it could be more elite, but here we are. So, tuna. Then we're going to put two tablespoons of this. Hmm, let me go get a tablespoon, that would help. I feel like I need this to be like the widest lens ever because I keep wandering around. One minute. just waiting for the pasta oh wait what time did i say 58 10 past yeah it needed to be 10 past so we've got like we've got like six minutes so someone entertain me someone entertain me while we wait for the pasta because it's just boiling i'm actually i've got my camera at the same time so i'm just gonna like do a little little close up so cute we have drained the pasta um after 12 minutes i'm just gonna Give it a little shaky shaky, pour it in here. And that's literally it, I'm just gonna mix it up. And this is two portions. Wow, eating healthy is actually so easy. Obviously this isn't like a super nutritious meal, like it's not got like veggies in or anything. So I definitely recommend if you have this as one of your meals to like either add some additional veg, like um, chopped tomatoes are perfect. Um, like you can add spinach, you can add some like onion, you can add so many things, but I just wanted to like use stuff that was, stuff I generally have in the cupboards, you know, just to show that it's like you can, you can make good meals with the stuff you've got lying around. How many grams of pasta um, did you do per person? So um, this is 75 grams of pasta per portion. So like this is, this in here is 150 grams of pasta. So this is two portions. So basically 75 grams per person, which if you look, is like quite a good portion because it's like, let me split this in half. <laughs> so like that much each, this is quite a big box. So I feel like it doesn't look like that much in here, but it actually is. So filling as well. I've made this quite a few times. Um, oh yeah, portion control is definitely a hard issue, isn't it? I feel like, um, I think that's where most people struggle because a lot of people don't necessarily eat that like unhealthy food or anything like that but maybe they just eat like quite a high calorie amount because their servings are quite big and um, so cutting down your serving size can definitely be a good way to just slightly cut down your calorie intake and um, that's why i find tracking quite useful if you are if your goal is weight loss so um using like my fitness pal something like that um, and just sort of like even if you don't fully track it like weighing out the food as you put it in because it's quite easy with pasta and stuff like that to put like have a 150 gram portion yourself which like this whole thing would be like 800 calories which is fine but if i was trying to lose weight it's not necessarily ideal especially if my um calorie intake for the day goal was let's say like 1000 like 600 that would be half of it which isn't ideal and to be honest the actual portion size would fill you up anyway you know it's really filling because of the high protein that is key i'd say with portion control you know like get a good amount of protein in and you will you will feel um 
I think that is more important. Honestly, the box is really big. I don't feel like it looks that big on the camera, but it is actually really big. Um, so yeah. Weight loss tips, please, someone said. Um, honestly, I guess everything we've been talking about, so like, um, like portion control, like, so you want to eat in a calorie deficit. That is essentially the only way you're going to gonna lose weight so you you can but well, you need to put yourself in a calorie deficit so that can be by increasing your activity levels so like we were talking about you could go on walks you could work out you could do a mix of both walking's really good because you don't um you don't get doms like we were saying earlier so you won't be as achy so you can do it more um and yeah food wise so um tracking your food can be helpful to get into a deficit but we you could just reduce your portion sizes and um, eating food that's i always find this hard to word less calorie dense so like Things like vegetables, you could eat a bigger portion and there's like less calories. So for example, this, there is no vegetables in this. So it probably, oh, it's probably not actually, um, it's probably not necessarily the best thing for weight loss in, as in if you didn't use the protein pasta, because um, it's probably not going to be the most filling thing. But because I've used the protein pasta, it's like really filling. Also the tuna is good for it being filling and stuff. So get protein, get veggies. That is really helpful also get an eight hours sleep a night is really good for weight loss because your body's going to be fully rested so you're not going to like do have like mindless snacking because of that and um, also you'll just have more energy so you're less likely to skip your workouts you're more likely to actually like put more effort into your workouts and like your general exercise so even like your needs so the number of calories you burn and um, like not exercising so things like just getting your day-to-day -day steps in and um, moving around even now when i'm talking like i'll be burning calories because i do this when i talk and um, whereas if i was really tired if i had like four hours sleep, i'd probably be talking like this and not really moving and that's just like a subconscious thing what our bodies do because they know we're tired they know we don't have the energy to expend so yeah getting sleep getting water because if our body is hydrated sometimes you think you're hungry but you're actually just thirsty so yeah hydrate like steps keep your knee up you know eat high protein eat lots of veggies there's so many things um what did we say here one second um it doesn't help with a desktop worker from home the enemy of losing weight oh so true i feel like with working from home it's really helpful to have like a smart watch so like um track your steps because you don't really realize how many steps you're not doing um when like if you compare a day at the office to a day at home like all the little bits in between where you get steps in like you don't necessarily realize how how many steps you were getting in doing those things so um yeah i definitely say if you work from home really try and like get out for a walk each day and i know the weather's a bit rubbish in Cardiff, um well england in general but like try and try and get out for a walk if you can like what, no matter what point of the day it is like um even if it means you go to the gym and do some steps there or you know them walking pads they're so sick that people have under their desk but they are quite expensive even having like a standing desk is helpful um, but yeah, just getting up and like moving as much as you can through the day. Because like you say, you just don't realise how much you don't step. Um, even compared to like, if you're at the office, if you were going to like go for up your water or like go toilet, like you probably have to do quite a few steps to get there and back. Whereas in your house, it's probably like right there. So yeah, working from home definitely makes it harder. But I would say um, the best thing you can probably do is like go for walks in that scenario. Um, somebody else said, I struggle to drink enough fluids as well. I forget to drink most days. Life hack with this is just like having a water bottle. Look, mine's right here. I feel like if you have a water bottle, oh, I drink this. Like I could constantly have this in my mouth. Like I'm just thirsty all the time. But um, yeah, I think having a water bottle, especially one with a straw that's just easy to drink, take it everywhere with you. Your emotional support water bottle. I think that is the key. Um, somebody said so. Approximately two thousand steps a day with five hours sleep. Um, I'm replacing. A <laughs> blood worth of Red Bull is not wise. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'd say like like you say, and it's just small steps. So let's say you're at the moment you are doing two thousand steps. If you can up that to like even like four thousand for a few weeks, and then once you've got four thousand, try and do more. And um, and yeah, if you if you go out on a walk, you'll probably naturally get more than that anyway. Like once you start thinking about these things consciously, you actually end up doing more. Um, and yeah, five hours sleep again, like you say, you'll end up maybe like relying on caffeine and then you end up having crashes and then like your blood sugar levels all over the place and you, you're craving food that's higher in sugar. Like it's just like a cycle, isn't it? So yeah, getting sleep is actually such an important part of weight loss. I feel like, well, not even just weight loss though, like anything, like just your body, like functioning well. Um, that I think people forget to talk about. Um, someone said, only PT on TikTok with practical advice, you must aim for perfection. 
nice change. Ah, oh, thanks. Um, but yeah, but it's true, isn't it? I feel like, you know, it's not about being perfect. It's just about being like better than you were yesterday. And that's what's going to get you a result. Because it's, it's even like being like, it's easy, easy for me to say like, do 10,000 steps a day. But if you're currently doing 2,000, like 10,000 is probably like way off from that at the moment. So um, yeah, it's just sort of like, improving from what you were doing last week even down to like going to the gym like it's fine me being like oh go to the gym five times a week but if you're currently not going at all you're thinking well when am I going to the gym five times a week so with that it's like okay try going once and then next week try going twice it's just like slowly introducing things to your routine and like actually I have some episodes on my podcast about things like this so I have a podcast called hot girl habits if you go on my instagram it's in the bio I might be in my bio and here I'm not sure but um yeah on that i've got like quite a few episodes about things like to do with like weight loss and like just slowly introducing like new habits because essentially that's what achieves weight loss like new habits because if you have the same habits you had before you're not going to see a change you know so yeah hopefully that was helpful um i like how um i'll give it yeah give it a listen we love a podcast hi babes you okay i'm a little bestie <laughs> but yeah so definitely give that a listen i feel like life's just about habits isn't it it's like even that's why i wanted to make this so if you weren't here for the whole live we cooked pasta we cooked pasta in 15 minutes so um yeah like i feel like sometimes it's good to just know like little things you can do that can be like part of your routine part of your habits um that just like will lead to you making like better choices in general so yeah anyway i'm gonna go now and eat my protein pasta and um, thanks for watching guys um, i'm gonna try and do more of these I feel like the food ones will probably be around like lunch timey. Um, probably not every day because I do generally meal prep. I might do one of me just like meal prepping because I usually make like um, more than one meal at once because it's just really convenient. So I might show you how I do that. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. And if you do want to buy this protein pasta, by the way, have a discount code. I think it's PWL Bird or PWL Bird. Hmm, which one is it? I think PWL Bird. We'll go with that. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty mild. Obviously, you could just make the same recipe with normal pasta. But definitely try and add some veggies and stuff as well if you have time. Obviously, I just did this to show it in 15 minutes with essentially like cupboard ingredients. Because that's what we're here for. Easy meals. Um, oh, we'd like the meal prep videos. Perfect. I'll probably put them on my YouTube as well. My YouTube's Ellie Bird Fitness. Because then obviously you can just watch them at any point. So if you miss the lives... It's probably a good way to do it. I'm going to put the video of me making this on there as well. So, yeah, I'll definitely do a video then on just, like, me doing my meal prep. Because, for me, I, f I always think it's, like, everybody does it. But then I'm like, oh, they don't. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll definitely make that. Because I think over the years, I've, like, built up a really efficient way to do it. Because she's a busy girl. Two portions of protein pasta here. Um, I'm actually so excited to eat this. I think it looks lovely. So, I've spaced them out there so that I could see, like, how much was in each portion. But yeah, I think it looks really, really lovely. Um, obviously, super basic. You could totally have made this more extra. You could have added, like, you know, onions, spinach, tomatoes. But I just wanted to do it of, like, things that were literally in my cupboards that I always generally have. Because this is the kind of meal I would make when, like, today. I've got home. It's lunchtime. I haven't got anything ready. It's took me 15 minutes. So, yeah, I hope this was helpful. I've got a discount code for Protein World. It's PWLBird. I'll put it on the screen now. Um, so, yeah, happy shopping. Thanks for watching. Bye.